the industrial space just experienced a massive shakeup. PTC has sold Kepra and ThingWorks to TPG for over $600 million. And if you work in manufacturing or industrial IT OT, you're probably wondering, what does this mean for my systems, for my data, and for the future of the industry? Hey there, my name is Christopher Sandoval. I'm a developer relations advocate here at Flowfuse. And today we're going to break down exactly what the Kepware and ThingWorks divestment means for you, for your data, for your processes, and for the industry at large. The bigger picture. So first off, we should set some background. This isn't an isolated move. It's actually part of a larger movement that's happening in the industrial space. Last year, there were rumors that PTC was seeking an acquisition by Autodesk. And while that deal obviously fell through, it is sort of a broader signal of what's happening. To put it simply, PTC and companies like them are trying to strategically realign. And PTC in particular are moving towards what they call intelligent product lifecycle management. Things like CAD, PLM, ALM. So for them, it makes sense why they would want to move away from something like ThingWorks or Kepware. But the problem is that for consumers, that line is often a little bit more blurry. See, Kepware and ThingWorks do occupy a different space from the perspective of PTC. But for the average consumer, that line of delineation from the other products isn't necessarily as strong. And for actual consumers, this is sort of a troubling development. And it's one that warrants a full-scale reconsideration of what products they're using. What this means for you. So if you currently use Kepware or ThingWorks, this is going to introduce a period of uncertainty. Roadmaps will shift, pricing will change, and integrations may not align the way that they used to. And even if TPG does invest in the future of these products, you're still entering an unknown transitory period. And transitory periods is where risk lives and thrives. The truth is that we saw this coming a mile away. Back when the Autodesk rumor started, we actually set up a guide for helping you migrate away from Kepware. We saw the writing on the wall and we knew that industrial orgs were soon going to have to make a decision. And in the process of making that decision, they were going to have to reevaluate their data integration platforms. And honestly, that reevaluation isn't a bad thing. It's actually the perfect opportunity to ask yourself one simple question What should a modern industrial data strategy actually look like? Flowfuse and Node Red. So Flowfuse takes a different approach in this space. We're not a closed platform that's tied to someone else's roadmap. We're based on Node Red, the open source low code solution invented by Nick O'Leary that has revolutionized industrial automation. And oh, by the way, Nick is actually the founder of Flowfuse. So with this huge news, everyone is obviously asking, what does the perfect data strategy look like? And while every org is going to have a different answer to that question, I can tell you what we think it looks like. So firstly, it should be based on an open source foundation. Flowfuse is built on Node Red. You can see everything, you can iterate on everything, you can build custom nodes and integrations, you control the entire flow. Kepware? That's proprietary and closed source. It's a black box with little in the way for visibility, oversight, or control. We also think that you shouldn't have to deal with vendor lock-in. Look, Flowfuse runs anywhere. You can run it in the cloud, you can run it on premises, you can even run it at the edge. And meanwhile, all those other guys? Well, they keep you locked into their license model and their specific deployment scheme. And the control that we're advocating for you to have? Well, it should extend much further than just where you deploy the tool. It should also extend to how you use it. Flowfuse is built on Node-RED, so you have absolute control. And beyond that, you have access to over 5,000 community-developed nodes. That means that you can connect to almost anything, integrate with almost anything, and do your work the way that you want to work. And in the coming months, this next point is going to be of particular importance, but we think you should also have transparent pricing. We don't think it's right to sell a product at one price and structure, sell yourselves out to someone else, and then leave your users in the dark about what that means for their systems and their pricing. You should not be left in the dark about how much this is going to cost, or how much your stack is going to change. And finally, we think your architecture should be future-proof. Flowfuse was created to be open, portable, and designed specifically for evolution. With Flowfuse and Node-RED, you can make sure that your applications are future-proof for whatever the world will throw at you. With TPG, who knows? Why this matters. Ultimately, this is about much more than just Kepware or ThingWorks. This is about how you handle your industrial data strategy moving forward and who you decide to trust with that solution. With closed proprietary platforms, your fate is tied to someone else's boardroom. But with open source, you own your future. Flowfuse adds the enterprise tools that you actually need. Version control, team collaboration, security, and scalability. All while ensuring that you can keep your flows portable and your options open. With Flowfuse, you're not building on sand. You're building on a stable, proven foundation. 
Now, if you're using Kepware, Thingworks, or some other platform, this isn't bad news. It's a wake up call. It's an opportunity to take control over your systems, your data, and your strategy. The organizations that are going to thrive over the next decade are the ones that choose a handful of things. Flexibility, transparency, and control over vendor lock-in. And at Flowfuse, that's exactly what we're building. A truly open enterprise grade platform for industrial data orchestration. So here's the takeaway. The industrial IoT market is shifting fast. PTC's divestment is just one move and a larger trend. The ones that win aren't going to be the ones that stick with whatever legacy platform they started with. They'll be the ones who adapt fast and adapt now and integrate open future ready foundations. So if you're rethinking your strategy, check out the links in this video. And if you'd like to get a taste of what life on Flowfuse could be like, head over to flowfuse.com to get your free 14 day trial. Or you can connect directly with one of our migration specialists who can get you started right away. This has been Christopher Sandoval. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.